creative people like yourself to, to continue to be able to create during this has been a godsend. And I, I imagine oh, you're, you're just, the people at the label must have been so grateful for you to kind of reach out and go, OK, guys, there's stuff for us to do. I'd had a few gigs booked I know, at Glastonbury, right? Uh, right. 2020. Uh, and um, a few gigs around that. There were six which got blown out. And I started to get a lot of text messages off my band and crew, right? All 36 of them saying, oh, thanks so much for what you've done for us. And like, it's really generous. Of, and I'm like, what are they talking about? So I call my manager and saying, what's up? Why am I getting thank you messages off all the band? The crew is saying, well, we've had to pay them all for the gigs. And I was like, oh, well, who's, who's we? <laughs> we? There is no we. There's only me. <laughs> I mean, I've paid them all for the gigs that are now not happening. That no one's getting paid for. He's like, well, we thought it was the right thing to do. I was like, well, what about what I thought? <laughs> they get enough they're traveling around the world, staying in five star hotels, going first class everywhere, and they want paying for something they're not doing. <laughs> Tell you what, mate, I, will, I will, as I've said to them all, live it up now because I will claw that back off you, Bob. So somewhere <laughs> down the line, you'll open your little pay packet and you'll go, I think it's a bit short this week, Governor. I'll say, do you? <laughs> well, remember 2020. <laughs> so you you kind of did something nice, now in around. Not that you wanted to do it, but <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't no, do, I, I've mate. told them. I mean, really, I mean, naturally, <laughs> I would I would bask in the glory and say, "Oh, you guys, you mean so much to me." I was like, yeah. "Listen, I'll get that back up. You don't worry." <laughs> <laughs>